So I just received today the new 2020 Redline uh, square back 26 inch old school BMX in the color gray. This is a, an unboxing and a assembly. Okay. Package came in unharmed. There's no um, damage at all. So I was happy with that. Everything is zip tied together here. So I'll just lift it all out in one piece. Yep. Take this out. Box out here. And there we have it. All packaged up. All tied together. Looks like everything's in good shape. See any any damage at all? Oh, it's pretty well protected. The piece cranks look good. Sprocket looks good. Everything looks pretty sharp here. Definitely do a nice job. It looks pretty good. So I opened up the box. Smaller box. Um, and it's basically, you've got a bag of reflectors and uh, Allen, Allen wrenches here and a little keychain. That's kind of cool. Surprised they include that. And then your typical bear trap um, pedals here. I might get some uh, aluminum red pedals just to make the thing pop a little bit since it is a red line chain guard. Yeah, we won't be using that. Oh, and a... Uh, a wrench, um, I think this is for the pedals, to install the pedals, which is, is handy. Huh. I'm surprised they actually give you the tools required to assemble this, which is uh, pretty neat. Installation instructions, we don't need those. Owner's manual, pretty, uh, two in one shot. So we cleaned up a bit and we'll continue unwrapping here. Be careful when you're snipping these that you're not biting into the frame or any other parts that you want to protect. I've had a number of BMX bikes and I've never had a nice set of three piece cranks. So. Okay, so I've unwrapped the bike. It took a while because it's packaged so well. I left the nylon wrapping on the top tube just, just in case until I get the handlebars on. I think I'm gonna hang it upside down just so I can work on it without doing any damage to it because it will be a little tricky getting the handlebars and the front tire without it uh, moving around. So, But everything looks great. The frame looks really good, really clean. The construction, the welds are are fantastic, uh, very shiny. I'm really surprised. It's always hard to tell from the photos online what it actually looks like, but when you see it in person, the all of the the tubing for the frame is just um, really uh, bulky, and I'm excited to put it together and, and ride it. 
Okay, now with the bike hanging up, I can install the handlebars. The stem here, you wanna make sure that the stem, the front plate is even on both the top and the bottom when you go to tighten the handlebars. We'll just get that snug for now until we get the front wheel on and we can make our final adjustment. So we'll match the front with the back as far as the tread direction, tire direction. When you put the front tire on and you're screwing in the nuts, the washers, both washers need to be on the outside of the actual uh, forks here. And the innermost washer has a kind of a, a hook on the end of it. And that hook goes into the little um, slot or opening in the, those washers with the hooks basically um, hold the tire in place so you're, if you don't tighten up the nuts that your front tire won't, you know, fall off the tube, the, the forks. So it's 15 millimeter nut. And I believe, yeah, so the tool that came with the bike has a 15 millimeter slot. So you can use this to tighten up both sides. But if you have a wrench and a socket set, a 15 mil, it's much easier to do it this way. And I tighten both sides at the same time. And that's pretty. Yeah, there's a slight wobble in the tire, but the rim itself is true and straight. So it's just the just the tire. I'll probably let these let the air out of them more, and then um, and then inflate them. Hopefully they'll they'll pop into place. Let's tighten up the back just to ensure that it's tight. It's very tight. Tighten it a little more. So the stem is loose to the front forks. So that needs to be tightened also. And those, that is basically these two bolts. These two bolts right here on either side of the stem. I always like running my bars a bit forward, close to where the vertical Part of the bar is almost 90 degrees from the floor, maybe just slightly back a bit. With this bike being a bigger uh, BMX style bike, I probably don't need to run it that far forward, but we'll start there. Your stem here, the front plate of your stem is equal on top and bottom. And when you tighten, you want to alternate alternate your um, tension and just do short increments until it's sufficiently tight. Never over tighten. Right, I think that's good for now. And then I will Align the handlebars with the front forks and the front tire. Again, just alternate your tension as you screw in the bolts. And then right now, the way that they run the brake cable, they run it along the underneath of the top tube and then out through the side. Uh, brackets here. I may, I may snake that in a different direction. It depends. There's a lot of, a lot of play. So basically, all, all I have to do is put on the pedals and put air in the tires, and she's ready to roll. And here it is, fully assembled, red line, square back, 26. Took about half an hour to 45 minutes. Um, it's probably 10, 15 minutes of just stripping everything off the bike before you start to 
assemble. But everything went well, um, no problems. The, the quality of the bike, the fit and finish is exceptional. But it looks pretty good, pretty beefy. Um, anxious to get outside with it and uh, see how well it rides. 